You're a bit late, loves. Lucy. Welcome, Sherazard. And Joshua, it is good to see you again and safe. You were gone far too long. Luciola. Why are you of all people working with Weissman? You and he never seem that close. This land is a nostalgic place for me, I suppose. We came here so often in our travels. I suppose you could just call it a whim of mine. Nostalgic place, my ass! Why are you hurting it so much then? Are you even thinking about how Sheriff feels about- Estelle, enough. Words alone won't get any answers from Lucy. We have to prove we're enough skill to be worthy of an answer. Oh my. You really haven't forgotten, have you, Sherazard? Just like when you were teaching me to perform all those years ago. So Lucy, promise me. If I can prove my work, tell me why you're supporting the society. Hmm. Very well. What in the... I recognize those. They're bound spirits, in the forms of the guardians of light and darkness from the eastern lands. Yes. I added my own touch to the charm arts of the east. Sherzard, show me. Show me what you've gained in this land after you left me. All right. Don't look away then, or you'll miss the silver streak. Thank you. 
Septian Overseer. Shine down thy radiance. And smite those who oppose us. Divine light, grant me the strength to punish the wicked. Stop this Nova! <laughs> Someone's been naughty. You've managed to defeat my little spirits after all. You learn much from the Divine Blade, it seems. <laughs> Don't doubt us. Well, Lucy, is that enough for you? Hmm, yes, you have earned your answer, I think. I joined the Society to better understand my own darkness. Your what? You remember eight years ago, of course. How the leader of our troop perished falling from a cliff? Of course I do. How could I forget? That accident caused the Harvey troop to... Yes. It caused the troop to disband and go our separate ways. No one could ever figure out, however, why he went to such a lonely spot all on his own. Why do you think that was? I... I don't really... You can see the answer, Shara. Acknowledge it. The troop leader was not alone on the cliffside. I was with him, and I was the one who pushed him off. What are you saying, Lucy? Were you not listening? I killed Harvey with my own hands. <laughs> Lucy, come on. There's no need for dark humor or trying to sound evil. I mean, that's impossible. You... After I pushed Harvey to his death, I returned to camp, feeling almost nothing. No one questioned my calm face. And then I used my bell to create an aura illusion of his scream for all to hear. Really almost trivial with my skill. Stop. Stop. You killed Mr. Harvey? You? No, no. Impossible. Idiotic. You were like parent and child. No, e even closer. Yes, so we were. And that is why I couldn't forgive him. I couldn't forgive him for planning to leave us. What? A 
Again? It must be shifting. It seems we are out of time. Hey, why was that barrier even here in the first place? What is the society trying to do? I'm afraid I wasn't given the details, love. I'm simply doing as the professor indicated I should. Admittedly, I have a pretty good idea after seeing the hidden truth of the tower's bones. Hidden truth? Wait, Luciola, you haven't finished answering yet. Why did you kill Mr. Harvey? He was so kind. He was the nearest thing either of us had to a father. I'm sorry, Sherazard. But that is all for now. The next time we meet, I will tell you everything. Be a good girl until then. Lucy... Um... Shara? Shara. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm one step closer to the truth behind Lucy. For now, that's enough. Oh, Sherazard. That's... That's three of the four towers down. Let's return to the Arsail and head to the last one. Making this hard on us, are they? They may have an advantage in terms of speed, but I won't let them escape our net. Corner them and seize their vessel! Yes, sir! Squads are all reporting they managed to hunt down the last of the puppet weapons before nightfall. Thank that goddess. Now we can finally catch our breath. Yes, I'm sure our men on the line are even more worn down than we are. Pass the word to let the men get some rest. The extra patrols can wait until first light. Very good, sir. And that's the situation on all fronts, sir. I think we can say that we're gaining ground everywhere, including with the bracers on the Arsail. Hmm, good. If I may, sir, I personally don't really think there's a chance we'll lose. The society is just a bunch of puffed up criminals and Jaegers. They'll never beat the Royal Army. Don't underestimate them. They're criminals with the airship the size of a small town to start with. Have the air units continue their patrol over all regions. Also, dispatch emergency order one to all divisions. Understood, sir. Emergency Order 1. The order we invoke in times of extreme crisis. I hope I'm just being paranoid, but... Yes, this is Cassius Bright. I apologize for the surprise, but please bring him up. We've arrived in the Ambril Tower airspace. We've also just received a further report from the scout unit. The reports say the attacker was a girl with an enormous scythe. I was afraid of that. Ren! Ren, the Angel of Slaughter. 
When I was last in the society, she was simply being considered for the mantle of Enforcer. Can she really control the Pater Mater? Does it even really work properly? Joshua, do you know what that huge puppet is? I know the concept. It's a tactical assault archaism the society was working on when I was deployed. As far as I know, they ended up freezing its development because of issues with its control system. That little girlie seems to command it like a puppy, though. Don't think I've ever been so scared of a grade schooler before. It's okay, Tita. Don't make that face. We'll make her see the truth. Just you watch. Estelle? Yeah. You think I'm being a little optimistic, don't you? No. Of all the people in the world, you... Maybe you... Can actually reach her. Come on. We'll do our best together. Yeah. <laughs>